Nature has some pretty insane phenomena, but one of the craziest is electric animals. We're not talking about Pikachu, but actual electric animals that can shock humans. From electric eels to caterpillars that look harmless, here are 10 animals that can shock you. From afar, this caterpillar looks pretty cute. You probably wouldn't think much of it until you actually touch it. Put your hand on one of these little guys and they zap you so hard you'll need a second to even figure out what even happened. So make sure you do not pet these little bugs. You won't actually die or get hurt from their zap though, these caterpillars just don't like getting touched. Another cool thing about these caterpillars is that their whole body is basically one big camouflage. They're fully green with legs that almost look like tiny spikes. Because of their amazing camouflage, it would probably be impossible for anyone to actually find them in the wild. So you probably wouldn't have to worry about accidentally running into one of these guys. Electric eels are probably the most dangerous types of electric animals on this list. Depending on their species, they can produce a shock up to 860 volts, which is more than enough to kill a human. While only a few people have been known to actually die from an electric eel volt itself, a single jolt can cause a person to drown even if it's in shallow water. Multiple jolts can lead to heart or respiratory failure. It's not that surprising that they can shock this much considering 80% of their body is electric organs. Electric eels actually produce so much electricity, they can literally light an actual bulb. Weirdly enough, electric eels aren't actually eels. They're just regular fish that just look like eels because of their long and slender body. What makes electric eels even scarier is that they can literally jump straight out of water just to attack their predators. So make sure you steer clear of their area next time you decide to go for a swim or try fishing. <laughs> These rays actually have two electric kidneys on their head, capable of producing electricity from 8 to 220 volts of electricity. This is enough to knock a human completely unconscious and then leave them with medical conditions forever. They use their electricity to stun their prey and fight against larger predators. These rays hide under the sand and wait for their prey to come by. They then ambush them with electric shock by completely wrapping their entire disc around them. Their jaws can actually expand enough to swallow a large fish whole. Electric rays actually have very small eyes and can't see much through them, so they actually rely on electroreceptors that are called ampullae of Lorenzini in order to detect their prey and predators. So while these guys might be legally blind, they can still detect and will shock you if you appear like a threat. Catfish are pretty scary fish as they are, and when you add electricity to that, they become deadly. These catfish can produce electricity and shock of up to 350 volts. While their shock is enough to kill a human, there haven't actually been any reported casualties of it. What's crazy about electric catfish is that they're completely immune to their own shock. Even scientists don't really know how because they don't seem like they have an insulated body or anything. The shock from the smaller catfish will probably just feel like a tingle, but from the larger ones that can grow up to 3 feet and 44 pounds, the shock could stun you or make you completely pass out. They use their electricity to their advantage when it comes to hunting. They completely incapacitate their prey with electric discharges and swallow them whole, so it's important to stay as far away as possible when you see one of these fish around. We all know geckos as lizards that can completely change color of their bodies to blend in with their surroundings, but no one really talks about how they use electricity to their advantage. While geckos are great at making themselves stick to any kind of surface, most of the time they use electricity to get a better grip. This whole time everyone used to think geckos climbed around using van der Waals forces, but that wasn't the case. Alexander Penlitis from the University of Waterloo in Ontario discovered that geckos actually use electricity Instead, they realized that when a gecko's toe touched the surface, the pad actually became positively charged while the surface on the other hand became negatively charged. This made an electrostatic attraction. Black ghost knife fish have electric organs and receptors which they use for a lot of reasons. Their eyes have little to no use for them and are basically just there for looks. That's why these fish have to rely on electricity to hunt and communicate. Black ghost knife fish are a relative of electric eels, which can actually kill humans or severely damage us. However, unlike electric eels, these fish are nowhere near as dangerous. 
Black ghost knife fish use electric organ discharges for electrolocation and communication. Many even call this sense their sixth sense. The fish can detect the presence of any nearby object by the electric field surrounding it. They can also navigate through the dark to hunt their prey when they're not expecting it. Northern stargazers have a very special organ right behind our eyes that can produce an electric shock whenever it feels threatened. These fish use their electric shock, which can go up to 50 volts, mostly for hunting purposes. They stay buried under the sand and the moment a prey pops up, they electrocute it. They then swallow the animal whole as if it's nothing. While you'll be able to feel a northern stargazer's shock, it's definitely not enough to kill a person, but it might stun you. Where does it shock you on the top? Oh, shit. <laughs> but these fish don't really attack humans unless they're touched or provoked, so make sure to watch where you're going at all times. What makes northern stargazers so scary is that they're also poisonous to most animals, including humans. While it won't be enough to actually kill us, it's very painful. Sometimes even stargazers will shock and poison you at the same time. The elephant nose fish are well known for their nose that looks like an elephant's trunk. But the really long nose actually has a purpose. It's covered in electroreceptors that help the fish to navigate, defend itself, and communicate with other fish of the same species. This fish produces an electric field and uses it to look for food or swim through pitch dark water. It can also sense whenever a predator is coming near it so it won't get caught by one either. The shock that these elephant nose fish produce is so weak that they can't really use it for killing or stunning their prey. So these fish are nothing for humans and will probably run away from us anyway. Skate are one of these animals that actually use their electricity for more communication rather than hunting prey or that kind of stuff. This is because they can only produce around 4 volts of electricity which is pretty weak and won't be able to kill many prey with this. While you'll probably feel the shock, it's nothing against humans and most animals too. The skate is actually related to electric rays and is the only animal in the same family to have an electric organ. Skates have two electric organs that run along their tails. These organs are what produce their electricity. They can also use electricity to sense where their prey is and hunt them down. Sometimes they'll use their electricity to stun their prey so it's easier for them to actually kill and eat them. Gymnotus are electric fish that generate electric fields mainly for navigation purposes, finding prey, and using it to communicate with other fish. They're part of the weak electric fish, which means that they really can't produce a high voltage. That's why they don't really use their electricity to kill their prey, just to find them. Gymnotus are very territorial fish and can also detect electric fields of other animals. Stronger electric fish like electric eel or electric rays have the ability to actually stun or even kill their prey because their shock exceeds 50 volts. So if you do see these fish around, you don't need to worry at all because they're completely harmless to humans. Alright, which one of these electric animals shock you the most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Trend Joint, and we'll see you in the next one.